A new investor in the fisheries sector is about to roll out a robust plan to harvest shrimp here in Grenada. The production of the expensive delicacy falls in line with government's thrust to create a sustainable environment for agriculture. Kevin Frederick has more. Shrimp is a delicacy enjoyed by people all over the world, and research has shown that it obtains a very high price locally, regionally, and internationally. Hinge upon a United Nations Food and Agricultural Organization report which suggests a major shortage of seafood, mainly fish, due to increased global consumption, Grenada has seized the opportunity to take advantage of shrimp fisheries in a sustainable way with the help of overseas investments. With increasing demand for organically grown shrimps year-round, on February 27, 2017, Grenada Sustainable Aquaculture Project broke ground for the construction of the island's first zero-water exchange sustainable organic shrimp farm in Victoria, St. Mark. And the St. Mark Member of Parliament, Honorable Clarice Modest Cohen, says it's a renewal of faith. Our strength, the strength of the people of St. Mark, who are very resilient, our strength is being renewed by this project that is being launched today. Dr. Modest Cohen gave the project her blessings as it is poised to create huge employment in St. Mark's. I was told that we would start off with two plants for sim production and I've been assured that each one would employ about 75 people. Imagine with a small population employing 150 persons and it's a sustainable aquaculture project so it's not just temporary jobs. It was music to my ears to hear that most of the labor will come from St. Mark. The project is by far the only major one to take place in St. Mark's in as much as eight years, and the minister believes it's a trend-setting initiative for other investors. But very importantly, I believe that this project will be the catalyst to say to other business investors, business can be done in the rural areas of Grenada, Caracol and Pity Martinique. Long-term goals of the project is driven by international demands and supported by calls that go far as the United Nations explain His Excellency Dennis Antoine. Considering the UN Food and Agriculture Agency's support for capacity development fisheries sector in Grenada with regulations and ocean governance reform policy, Grenada is well prepared for the full scope of this project. Ambassador Antoine added, Mindful, however, that global supply of seafood from aquaculture must be carried out under environmentally healthy conditions. Now, Grenada's vision for aquaculture combined with cutting-edge technology to increase production while protecting our environment is a positive response to the UN Sustainable Development Goal number 12. But is such a project of such magnitude timely? Grenada's aquaculture is well-timed because according to world fish estimates, due to changing patterns of wealth, particularly in Asia, that by 2030, an additional 88 billion tons of fish above current business as usual level will be needed. Some 63 million tons of this would need to be derived from aquaculture. State of Affairs has learned that the project will not only create employment opportunities to locals but educational and training likewise. It will create a new set of professions within the sector including opportunities for wider training and capacity development, targeting jobs in the seafood processing, packaging, logistics, and other post-harvest opportunities. German-born engineer Manfred Soffrin, the project's senior operations manager, backed that claim made by Ambassador Antoine. We intend to employ locally as many persons as possible. Under the auspices of our chief scientist, Dr. Samoka, we will train workers to run this operation which will employ new and revolutionary technologies for raising shrimp in a closed-loop, zero-exchange recirculating system. Some of the employees, by virtue of qualification, will have an opportunity 
to secure a scholarship, attend university, and to attain further qualifications in the subject field. Mr. Soferin also spoke of the future prospects for the project. This plan will be a model for the entire Caribbean and the rest of the world. Projects like these require experience and scientific expertise. And according to one of the world's leading agri-life experts, Dr. Taji Samocha, is a paradigm shift. The sustainable indoor super-intensive biofloc-dominated production of edible Pacific white shrimp with no water exchange. This is a basically a new paradigm that we are using and looking forward to implement it here for the benefit of the Canadian people. Dr. Samosha, a well-known professor at Texas A&M University, says global trends and demands for safer food productions is a priority. Consumers, however, increasingly drive this trend by demanding safe, high-quality seafood that beats sustainable production practices that reduce aquaculture and environmental footprint to include effluent and pathogen. The American scientist is confident that the technology that will be used in the project will lead to the production of high shrimp quality, noting that the existing environmental conditions in St. Mark was advantageous. Now, what are other advantages that we have here? We have water conservation, minimal water discharge, small footprint, urine production, <coughs> faster growth of animal that especially are bred for this uh, type of uh, trait, a uh, lower disease rate, namely biosecurity that is implemented, more efficient protein use, lower feed requirement, higher yield, and overall sustainability. He further noted, Previous study at Texas A&M AgriLife Research and <coughs> Mary Coulter Lab have utilized combination of airlift, pump, and other devices to maintain the shrimp requirement in terms of this, uh, dissolved oxygen. And this is very, very significant and we are going to implement it here. The project will be executed in phases. Phase one will be the construction of one complete production system consisting of nursery with 18 tanks of 150 cubic meter grower tank with annual production of 70 ton per year. Phase two will include the following. Three barns with expansion of the nursery and the grow-out. Operation and manage of the system with a local manpower, very important. Development of the GSA Grenadian brand of organic shrimp into premier market in the US and Canada. And then creation of mutual research training program <clears throat> with the University of St. George. Demonstrate in a remote location the economic viability of the sustainable biosecure biofloc dominated no water exchange system which provide year-round supply of live, fresh, never frozen or IQF shrimp of superb quality and taste. The Grenada Sustainable Aquaculture Project is a spin-off of the Citizens by Investment Program, which so far has created hundreds of jobs and training opportunities for Grenadians at home and abroad. And with the birth of this CBI-related project, Grenada is set to make a big impression on the international food market. Founder and director of the project, Soren Swadi, testifies. I'm grateful for the work we're doing with the CBI committee, its management, its diligent staff, this is daily work, both as project developers and marketing agents, and I look forward to a long and healthy partnership with your good office. Another director of the project, L. Francis Ford, said... They asked me what I was doing in Grenada. I said, I'm here to build a shrimp farm. They said, why did you choose Grenada? I said, there's a number of reasons I chose Grenada. Number one, the government and people of Grenada are very warm, very well from all aspects. Meanwhile, Prime Minister Dr. The Right Honorable Keith Mitchell is confident that these CBI-related initiatives has several growth and development opportunities for the country and its inhabitants. The launching of that river a project, the hotel project, and, and the other actor aspects of the project in St. Patrick's has enormous meaning for the that side of the country 
and the opportunities for serious job potential for our young population and others. And the other aspects of business opportunity that will flow for other sectors of the community. Dr. Michel placed high value on the Sustainable Aquaculture Project, which is the first and only one of its kind in the OECS and Caribbean regions. This project means a lot to us. The potential opportunities for an exchange cannot be underestimated. The selling point of this project and what it means for the country as a whole. For something as innovative like this, with the technology, the innovation and technology that is coming with this project is going to be a serious selling point for Grenada. For State of Affairs, I am Kevin Fedrick.